Hi, this is Sterling from sterlingteaches.com. I showed you in a previous video how to set up and initiate Jing. I want to show you a few more features that Jing, the Jing project has. First of all, if you click down here on the Jing icon in your system tray and you go to more, it gives you a couple more options that you can do. The first one is you can send feedback. You click on that and you can tell TechSmith whether you like it, whether you don't like it, different suggestions you have. This is a great way for you to have a comment or a hand in future versions of the Jing project. I'm going to go ahead and close that and I go back to more again and if you click on this preferences it's almost like the settings as well. It lets you set up how you're going to share your Jing project. You can set up an FTP, have it go directly out to your server and have it saved there. You can save it as a file. You can send it to your Flickr account or you can create a free screencast.com account. I believe they give you about 100 megabytes free uh, for screencasts. So this is a phenomenal deal. Uh, not only do you get to use their software for free, but you get to host it for free as well. Now this is only for now. Uh, it may not be this way for too much longer, so take advantage of it. So you can set it up so you can change your settings. Simply click on one of these. You can create a new account if you do not have a screencast.com account. Let's see. Or you can go to Flickr. Same thing. You just have to authorize by putting in your, your account information. FTP. It's pretty simple. You put in your FTP server, the directory where you want it, your password. You can even embed different uh, coding. For example, if you have your web server and every, the video has to be a certain way or the dimensions have to be the width and the height, you can go ahead and put that inside here so that that information is copied as well to your clipboard or the file, you can change where you want to save your files and once again you can put in extra information down here as well. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. So that gives you a lot of different options. Now if you have questions on how to use this, simply click on the help tool and you can click on you can click on how do I and then it comes up with a web page with lots of different questions and answers on how to do stuff. So let me just go ahead and close that out again. So you can click on that, how do I, and then getting started. And then when you're done, you can just click on quit. Now inside of the Macintosh, Jing actually comes up as a sun coming out of the top of the screen. I don't believe if it's the top or the corner. I think it's the corner. And there's actually rays coming off that are these different sections. So it's a little different on the Macintosh, but it works well in both environments. So I recommend that you give the Jing project a whirl, try it out, and then let the te people at TechSmith know what you think. Just drop them some feedback and let them know if you like it or not.